Moving around Mexico City is very tough in a way because it's a very gray city, lots of concrete, uh, 22 million people moving around, uh, very stressful, sort of aggressive, lots of uh, violence and, and Villa Verde has done a great transformation because it's well known that the contact with nature gives people, uh, people uh, some calm and changes the mood and changes the productivity. So right now, when you go uh, through the green uh, columns of the highway, uh, people smile and say, cool, it's not all the city, it's just one highway, we have a long way to go, but it's a great start to change the whole city. One of the things which is very cool about Via Verde is that all the material that we use to build the vertical gardens are, are from recycled materials. For example, the, the felt, the hydroponic felt, uh, is made out of recycled plastic bottles. And we're transforming this from the garbage into this felt that's growing live, uh, living species in there. And also, we're giving jobs uh, to women and men in prison that help us uh, to transform this felt with their magical hand to make these pouches where the plants are going to be at. So environmental benefits, social benefits, psychological benefits, that's Via Verde. I think Via Verde is a great example, not only on the transformation with green areas uh, in the cities, but as a project that reflects the possibility of change. Changes can be done if we align the interests of the people of the city, the interests of the government and the interests of the private sector. If we go get those three things together, we can change our cities, our countries, and the world.